So here at Lego Education, uh, this is new product you have. Yeah, so we're here from uh, Lego Education, a part of the Lego Group, who's making solutions for schools. This is our new launch that we're announcing here at CES, which is a concept to teach elementary science. It's uh, focusing on developing student practices, making sure that they have uh, get the skills that they need to be the problem solvers of tomorrow. So basically the concept is built up around three things, being uh, the Lego bricks, the digital tools including programming, and curriculum material that is uh, linked into the national standards that is uh, used when teaching science in classrooms. So one kid gives a lot of uh, uh, work for the kids to do. Yeah, so uh, one set here can be used for uh, endless possibilities. In the curriculum material we have more than 40 lessons of, uh, of projects and we have uh, a lot of different models to build and, and inspirational ideas for the kids to build their own models from. So actually they can just invent new stuff? Definitely, that's uh, what uh, it's all about. It's creativity and it's to, uh, to make sure you can, uh, you can do your own stuff and, and live your own ideas. The engineers of the future might come through this. Definitely. They will. This is for science and for engineering and really creating the problem solvers of tomorrow. All right. Uh, Jessica Boardman with Lighter Education. So what are you showing here? Uh, this is We Do 2.0 and it's our new product that we launched at CES. Um, so it's geared towards elementary school kids, so age uh, 7 to 10 or 2nd to 4th grade. Um, and the idea behind it is to introduce them to coding and robotics and programming at a very young age. Um, so the kit comes with a variety of kind of guided science projects. So as you can see here, there's frog metamorphosis, uh, pollination, recycling, pollution, that sort of thing. Um, so the idea is to teach kids those lessons while also building in the Lego hands-on building experience. Um, so the kids actually get to code the robot um, using the iPad. It's connected to the robot via a Bluetooth-enabled device. Um, so the kids would actually use a drag and, uh, drag and drop feature to create a sequence of commands to tell the robot what to do. Backwards and forwards exactly. or sideways. Yep. Or so it has a motor? It has a motor and it has a motion and tilt sensor. Um, so what happens once the kids actually create the code, they would press play and see the robot in action. Whoa. Yep. Frogger. And that's, there's a number of different models that they can yeah. create. Just that's like beautiful. The one kit can do all these? Yeah. So there's one, one kit... motor, so you'd have to like build one and then take it apart and build another one. But... One motor and yes. one control system. Is it Bluetooth? It's Bluetooth, yep. 4.0 4. Okay. low power? Uh, I'm not sure yeah. the exact version. And all these in the same kits? Yes. Yep. Right here, one of those kits. How much it cost? It's $159.95. And when is it available? Now. Now? Yep. It's available all right. on our website. And so is the kit is it uh, complete? Can we see inside? Sure. So is all this stuff in there? Yep. Uh, it's on your website. Yeah. So we're um, the education division, so we don't sell in stores at all. We're all online. Are with Lego? Yep. Yeah, we're part of Lego. Yep. Cool. So, and this works with Android and iOS? Yes. Yep. That's awesome. What is that? Um, that's Milo. He's our, our giant um, robot. He's a robot. So here's Milo, the giant robot. Here at Lego, they have a giant Milo. How many pieces in there? 37,000. Yeah, and it weighs 1,200 pounds. So what's the status with Lego education? How much is going on in the world? Um, we're all over the world, actually. There's a lot of schools using Lego. Yeah. And you're, you're moving things forward. And, but this is a big step, this one, right? Yeah, it's a, it's the a new big, kit. Yeah, big product launch for us. Um, we had we do 1.0 uh, that we launched in 2009. And this builds off of that. The major difference being that it's Bluetooth enabled, so it doesn't have to be yeah. tethered to the device anymore. Okay. And this is also possible. This, how many different possibilities are there? Can the kid just make up new things and start programming it? Yeah, they can. They can use their imagination. Nice. This is beautiful. What does this one do? Does it crawl around? Uh, and that's a gorilla. Gorilla? Let's go around this corner. 
and you have a you have a, all this. Well, let's not spoil it uh, for the kids. They will build them and discover themselves what it can do.